Hey, welcome back. Today we'll be looking at a Lumentop GT Micro. Uh, truth be told, I haven't been collecting enthusiast flashlights for that long. It's it's maybe been a couple of handful of years. And this is one of the ones that got me into it. This one and the EDC 18. So, you know, there's a little uh, special place in my heart for Lumen Top just because they were my introduction to um, to these fun things. Um, so this is 14500 powered. You cannot use uh, a double day. Um, it needs the it needs the higher voltage to be able to run um, this UI. Um, everybody loves Andrew and with good reason. It's really good, but what Lumentop use on this uh, what's it called Narsil is, is also really good it's um, stripped away of, of a lot of stuff so it's relatively straightforward uh, so let's see here so this is I think if I remember correctly they rated it at a thousand lumens uh, which is pretty decent for 14500 I got dual springs Try to get the most out of it. I will be running this uh, Epoch 14500. Uh, when I emailed Epoch about it, they said it's the same internal cell um, as the uh, the orange Shockley, as well as the um, the uh, Vape Cell H10, which is this uh, 10 amp, uh, which is relatively high discharge high discharge for a 14500. So 10 amp discharge, 1000 milliamps. When I use this instead of the previous 14500 I had been using, which was um, the purple E-Fest, there was a noticeable difference in brightness. So if you're going to be using a 14500 power flashlight that's this powerful, um, these, these 10 amp uh, discharge batteries is uh, what I'd suggest. Um, it is a, a little button pad thing inside so I do suggest a button top if possible I know there's some flat tops that do uh, protrude above the cell itself so those might work You get the little blink when you make connection. And you got the lighted switch. Uh, it is a, a de-domed uh, Cree emitter, the XPI high. So de-dome obviously gives you a longer, a little bit further throw than a domed version. Um, it does have an AR coating on the lens which I absolutely love. It reminds me of the sapphire crystals on watches. You know, they just look cool. So for size comparison, here is the Sofern SC31 Pro and the EDC18. Just because I have one on the table. Here is a Spyderco Paramilitary 2. So again, Narsil, simple UI, one click on, one click off. Um, when it's on, you press and hold and you ramp. Press and hold again, it ramps down. Super simple. Press and hold from off and you get the moonlight. Super convenient. When it's off, double click and you get turbo. Um, Alright, so when you're in trouble, double click again and you get the strobes. Again, everything is super simple, super quick. Um, I wish the more flashlights used this UI actually because again, it's super simple, super quick. Um, yeah, I really like it. it. It It's a bit toyish. And I only say that because of the run times. So the 14500 on turbo, you're going to be 
you know running through them pretty quick compared to for example i think the gt the gt mini is maybe 100 or 200 lumens uh brighter but it's on 18650 so that one is a little bit more useful you know to carry around because you're gonna have the longer run times so strictly on run times it's kind of toyish but you know most of us have one or two flashlights on us and you know this isn't too bad to carry on as a little toy although i keep calling it a little toy it is still gonna impress you when i turn it on at night uh so stay tuned for the for the night shot videos it's um you would never think that something this big is gonna throw as far as it does it's it's um again it's, it puts a smile on my face every time and and this is one of the ones that got me into um enthusiast uh enthusiast style flashlights so if you guys have any questions let me know i'll try to answer them as um as quick as i can and stay tuned for the night shots The, uh... So we're here with the um, Lumitop GT Micro on the dark sidewalk. So that is high and that's turbo. Okay. Little thing. I'm gonna ramp it down, ramp back up. So that is the high on the ramp. Double click, back to turbo. Ramp it back down, let it cool off a little bit because it is a fairly small flashlight to be putting out a about a thousand about a thousand lumens. That's a turbo. So we're here at the dark alley with the Lumitop GT Micro. We're gonna go straight to turbo. So we're here at the big park with the Lumintop GT Micro. Straight ahead is uh, a street. Um, I'm horrible with distances, but um, it is far. Again, this is a little 14500 flashlight. Uh, 
there is my car so you guys can get a four door sedan there's a house just gets swallowed up by the beam Flashlight, a little 14500, so it is getting warm already. We're here at the medium sized park with the Lumintop GT Micro. Now it's kind of windy and the sprinklers are on in this area, so I'm getting a little bit of water. So I'm gonna sacrifice myself for you guys. Anyway, so here's a uh, turbo. I think uh, Wuben has the uh, the EO5, which is another 14500 thrower. Um, I believe that's using an Osram emitter. Um, I've been I've been wanting to get my hands on one of those and really compare and really compare with the, uh, with the GT Micro. I know um, Flashaholics compared it um, but I don't think he was using I don't think he was using one of, one of the cell, one of these uh, 10 amp uh, cells that I that I mentioned earlier which would be the this epoch that I have the the orange shockley or the vape cell h10 um, which really Really lets the the full potential of um, of this flashlight come out. Remember, this is a little, a little 14500 flashlight that fits in my hand. It's insane. So we have the small park with the Limitop GT Micro, straight to turbo. I think I just saw somebody park their car in that house, so I'll try not to shine at the actual house so much right now.